There we go, lots of people. I think uh, this man here is, I think it's because of you we have to congratulate for this uh, <laughs> ceremony here. Maybe, or blame one way or the other. Blame, or whatever. <laughs> so, uh, no, but you're here. Mm -hmm. you, you you had some fun here uh, about a year ago. Yeah, and absolutely. You yeah. didn't really know nothing about Scotchman, but you opened your mouth and yeah. you got in trouble. Just oh my like, God, okay, we got to be fun. This can't be our normal uh, interview. Just like something Charles of would do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, go ahead. What's uh, What did you learn? And are you happy? Of course you are. But Yeah. There's an election around the corner, so we'll give you a chance to make yeah. yourself look good. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, no. I mean, it's good. Uh, we're expecting a lot of people out today, and um, I've managed to make a lot of good friends throughout this. I've served on the committee with uh, uh, a lot of the members of the New Brunswick Scottish Cultural Association. I'm a member of it now myself, and um, they're, uh, they're looking to involve me in a lot of things. I mean, it's been a learning process on one side, but on the other hand, it's been, uh, I think it's been good for everybody else as well. Uh, it raised awareness of a culture that is extremely prominent, but Underpronounced in the area. You sure did. Um, and uh, I mean, here we're having a celebration today. Yeah, whereas if we would have put it through quickly at council, who knows, maybe it just would have slipped through and nobody noticed. But, exactly. Um, I remember back when it happened, a lot of friends who had uh, common Scottish last names were telling me, you know, I didn't know there was a statue there. I didn't know who the statue was of. And I've had young people talking about joining the society now. And, uh, and you didn't know the blogger was half Scottish? Yeah, well. <laughs> Stubbornness has to come from somewhere, right? So. How do you do? How are you? <laughs> no, I think it's going to be good. Weather is nice. We can give you credit for that. No, that's a Scottish. That's a, the weather in Scotland. Cold and windy, and it's, no, it's not too often you see Scotchmen with a smile in their face. You don't see that too often. But they, look, everybody's smiling. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, well, as soon as everybody sees you, I'm sure that'll change. Oh, that's what to do with me. They're happy because of that. There, that's yeah. why they're all happy. It's yeah. a good day. Yeah, no, it's uh, only possible, of course. And you, as a young politician, you learn. You learn a few things from this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, all kinds of things. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I made haggis for the first time. That was a lot of fun. Uh, Danny Taylor had me convinced that the sheep was stolen, which made me feel like I was involved with criminal activity, which was <laughs> making me nervous. But uh, no, it's good. All kinds of fun today. Congratulations. Thank you, monsieur. You did good. Thanks. Well, I know you were the one who brought oh. up made the noise about it. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Why was that important for you? Well, uh, I mean, circumstance really. But what started was uh, it was budget time, we were going late to the night, things were getting heated and uh, the comment that I made was uh, that it was a waste. Uh, but it wasn't a waste in the sense that it was an outright waste to spend money on this. Um, I thought that we should have gone to the public first and asked for community support in, in, in this type of endeavor and I still stand by that. Just when you get tired sometimes you don't communicate things as well. It's very easy to offend people so that's where my apology was sourced. I still believe in my comments that culture is something that's very participatory and when governments simply outright fund culture then it's preservation in the sense of like what a museum would do and that's not what culture is supposed to be for especially crowd cultures it's just to be participating in what's going on you're supposed to be enjoying it and it's supposed to be something that survives that's that's the purpose of culture is that it's resilient